Hello everyone. I am back today with an interesting topic, and the topic is on differences between apply, apply map, and map. As you all know, apply, apply map, and map belongs to apply families, and these are the substitutes of the loops in Python. But it is always difficult to understand when to use apply, apply map, and map. Can we use them always, or should uh, they are there any distinct uh, or distinction between this? Well, I am going to explain the differences between them and the scenario when you can use them in this video. So to do that, I have imported pandas and numpy packets, and the data set that I am going to use is a very small data set. However, it is sufficient to explain the differences that we have targeting for the class today. If you see, there are total of twelve rows and four columns. And if you see the sample data, then this is how my sample data looks like. Okay, so we have a team information representing the team. We have rank information representing the ranking of the points. We have year-on-year -year information, and the points represents the total score by each team on yearly basis. It is also important to understand the differences to know the the type of the columns. So, if you see, out of the four columns we have, only team is of object type. Okay, so object is as good as a string type, a text, as you can see here. Rest, all three columns are of integer type. Okay, now let's see the differences. So the differences are actually uh, defined in two ways, and I would say the differences I am defining on direction as well as on the object on which they work. So, so if you see based on directions, the differences between apply, apply map, and map is as follows: apply works both row wise and column wise. What that means? Apply works on both one direction and one D and two D data. Okay, so it can work on data frame as well as on series object. Apply map works only on column wise. Okay, so this is interesting to know. That means apply map works on just one direction. Okay. Coming to map, map works again on just 1D data. So again, that means it can work on just 1D data and in one direction. Based on objects on which they they work, apply works on both data frame and series object. As I said, apply can be called on both data frame and series object. That is very important thing that you should keep in mind. Apply map works on only data frame objects. Okay, so if you try to call apply map on a series object, you are likely to get an error. Similar way, map works on only series objects or any 1D data. In addition to the series, you can think of like list tuples, and there also it works. But we are going to discuss in context of apply. Uh, sorry, in context of series and data frame. So to explain the differences, I am taking one one case here where I am trying to show to you. I have to perform the mapping to show the difference. I have considered a case where I want to perform the text to numeric format transformation. So we have the team information which is of text format, and I want to replace with corresponding numeric data. For example, I want to assign riders a value of one. Wherever you find kings, replace with two. When you find royals, replace with three. When you find devils, replace with four. So this mapping I want to do on my given data frame. So let's see how can we do that with apply. Then again with apply map and then map. And also I will highlight to you when you are likely to get error if you don't follow the technical technical restrictions on these objects that we have. Okay, so here if you see, I have the uh, code uh, where I'm trying to get the encoded a uh, theme information, uh, right? Using apply, the syntax is very clear. Okay, you you call the data either in form of data frame or series, then call dot apply, and inside apply you have to call your logic as a function object. Okay, now when I see say function object, this can be any Python supported function types. Could be lambda function or could be named functions. 
to do this i am calling here a lambda function so i have a simple lambda expression written inside my uh, apply where now my logic is uh, i'm taking i'm giving to it a team information at a time okay and it it will do the mapping for me and return the value so if you take an example for riders right for the first record when you provide x as riders what will happen it will return one and then as you could see one for the second row when you are passing devils it will do the basic if else check and it will return you four why four because it is devils is neither riders nor kings nor royals it is actually devil so the default value which is four will be returned and as you could see this is how your mapping would have worked right now let's see or try to see what will happen if, if on the similar logic if i call apply map so if you see here right i have highlighted that you should be careful using this statement because that is going to throw you error why so see what is the difference i mean in, it rest all are same to what i am calling in cell number six except the fact that i have here apply map so i will get error i am saying here if you are not sure let's let me show for you have a look i got an error okay and what the error says series object has no attribute apply map all right so that, that that is the reason since my object here that i'm calling is a series i got error so i have to make sure that when i'm calling for the similar transformation apply map i have to select my column as a data frame object right so if you see here i have selected my column as a data frame object although it is a single column and then i am calling a function object inside it well so if you see again the same logic has been written here but this transformation is happening with apply map so the third column team e apply map if you see that is transformed using apply map obviously it is similar to that of that apply the reason is my function definition i haven't changed it okay now let's see how we can achieve the same with map so here if you see the ever code where you you could see i am calling my team or i am selecting my team column as a data frame object on that if i call map like how i am doing here right i am going to get error let me show that to you can you see what is the error it says data frame object has no attribute map right so we the same logic when i have to call with map i have to be careful and i have to make sure i am selecting this object as a series object and here it goes if you see i am selecting the same column but as a series object if you know the difference between double square bracket and single square bracket that's where it explains why this is a series object and right and i have done the mapping and if you see the result here it goes okay so we have now the mapping done with both apply apply map and map and if you see the results they are same okay the reason is because my function body is not changed but the interesting thing to note here is that when you are calling the, the data on which you are calling this functions is very important for you to keep in mind else you may get error and you might be wondering the error is because some issue in your data but that error could be because of the way you are calling or invoking this functions and the type of object on which you are invoking this functions so you need to be a little careful here and understand the differences very clearly okay now let's see one more scenario where we can no, use apply because as i said apply can be used on both series for transformation like we have done here as well as on a data frame for doing a, a, an aggregate kind of operations so let me take another scenario where i want to calculate let's say average of the values both row wise and column wise so now this average of what data i want to so i want to do it for all numerical data okay so if i have to get the result column wise how can i do that okay so to understand this we have to understand there is one more parameter in apply called axis which decides the direction in what direction you want to perform your aggregation so for example if i have to achieve the task at column wise 
Okay, right? What that means? For every columns, for every numerical columns, if I have to calculate the average of the values, I have to set axis equal to zero. What does axis represents? That represents the direction in which a function or an operation has to be done. Right? So, what is my operation here? My operation is average, which you can again define not by invoking the inbuilt function, but also passing your own user defined function, right? By writing either as a lambda function or named function. But the important thing is that has to be passed with a for the parameter func equal to. So right now here I'm invoking an inbuilt function to calculate my average column wise. So if you remember how many columns my data frame do have. So if you see here, one, uh, if you exclude the object type remaining one, two, three and one is and two more we have. If you remember that is for your points ranks and year in fact okay three more we have so three plus three six we have so if you see here I have been returned with a six columns with the corresponding average values let's validate if the the numbers return here are correct or not so I'm going to show you what is the average of points column so if you see here, I have selected my points column in the data frame and I'm taking the average and that's coming as 765.58, which is similar here as well. So I hope you are convinced enough now to understand that axis equal to zero actually performs column wise operation, any operation so that you have to define. So here I, I have given average as an operation. Now the similar thing if I have to achieve the average if I have to achieve let's say row wise how can I achieve that so the syntax is almost similar if you see here we are calling df dot apply with func equal to mean but the axis equal to one the moment you set axis equal to one the computation goes row wise so every no numerical columns in a row will be taken together to calculate this average Okay, so if you see 482, now you can do the validation. I will give the data set in the description box. Go back and take one row and take its all column values like your points, rank, and then three extra columns that we created during encoding and then take the average of that. You will get 482. So I hope you are clear with the concepts. Please do validate that we get 482 when we take the average by row okay and you have to make sure to generate those three columns additional encoded columns to get the exact value so i'll be looking forward for your comments on the validation until then happy learning